all right here we are with some capital of industry an overview of my the map i've been playing for the last couple months i set this map just as update one dropped so it's been three months a little bit i think i've put at least two and a half solid months into this and yeah okay so we are on admiral difficulty uh what map this is you might ask well can you guess which map this is? Cut the resources. That's your clue. There's also a little bit of map, the actual alternative map in these corners, and there is one little bit of unaltered terrain here. So let me know what you figured this out, and I'll let you know what it was later. Uh, okay, so yeah, this map is fully automated, fully belted, fully sustainable. And also running some test rockets as well. Okay, let's do the overview of what's what. We have first uh, yellow cake, gold processing of the things. We are boosting some of the uh, buildings here just to save on the population, just to re reduce the amount of uh, resources we need to produce. Uh, here we have all the crushed rocks, we have some filter media, we have cement, we have concrete, glass mix, recycling. We used to run three of them, now we can only get by two of two. Everything's mixing, uh, water is slack, and here is our smelting. We are only running one uh, set of iron, a lot more of steel, some copper, glass, polysilicon, silicon wafers and gold that's all this money now we are going into the products so we have electronics one we have pcbs electronics twos microchips i want with this module design and uh, used to run it like in a series of twos or in fours but i was running a little bit low on space so i decided to just stack it and expand it this way works pretty well Everything's coming in here into this filter that gets microchips out. Microchips go into electronics trees. We have some mechanical parts, and we have our maintenance. Uh, again, unity boosting to save people. And yeah, this is a nice expandable build. You can just get it out as much as you want. If you need, just plug in in the direction and so on and so on. Uh, yeah. Then we have construction parts one, construction parts two, trees. This is uh, an overflow for when I deconstruct things. They're getting powered and consumed. And the construction parts force, nothing was being built, so there's nothing uh, actually working here. We have vehicle parts just in case I ever decide to bring vehicles back. Then we have our household goods, household appliances, servers. Consumer electronics, medical equipment, medical one, two, and three. And that is our first main bus. Of course, here are all the ships bringing all the resources in. There's only the gold ship that's running faster, and the slag ship, everything else is on reduced fuel. Why not? Going forward. Here is our. Uh, yeah, a rocket production and a launching. Here's our nuclear system. I almost managed to squeak this maybe on one reactor, but assuming a little bit too much uh, super steam to be able to do it. So unfortunately, I can't save 200 people for this. Well, it is all this. Uh, we have one nuclear storage, that's enough. We have one reprocessing and uh, core fuel production, we have black and fuel coming in here. This is running on a uh, broken glass because we have enough from recycling to be able to sustain it. We are losing a little bit of steam, but who cares? It's a little bit of puff every couple of years or something because this is so efficient. And yeah, uh, power, power production. It's a priority splitter, so first we get a uh, Probably going in here. One to one to one. This is single priority. These uh, 
the same with set an auto balance, this is set to always consume. Because then you are not losing anything on flywheels because uh, flywheels only lose when there's nothing producing or consuming. So this way it's always uh, used up. Rockets slowly getting ready to run. Okay, uh, water. What is coming from here is being fed by the super steam desalinators. Uh, this is the main one for the reactors and some industrial stuff. This is the brine. Here's a little bit of extra brine we need to uh, produce every now and then. Just to make sure we have enough. Right. Why don't we all see the rocket be launched? And drill time. Lift off. So, uh. I wish they had an option to auto create these, but now you're queue enough of them so they don't run out. Uh, okay, so here is uh, the other ships. It's the slug ship that has to have a little bit higher throughput because of all the slug we're producing for smelting and everything. That's our oil uh, coming in, and this is our oil processing. Um, we are using electric boilers because we have excess power from the generator, so we don't need to burn the fuel gas. Saves a couple of people, saves a little bit of complexity, and so on. So here we have uh, oil processing, one, two, three, and here is our fluid storage. Um, what's the best one to show? Oh, okay, so first we have priority inputs coming in. This is the stuff that you want to consume first. So in this example, it's sour water, plus the ammonia that you always want to consume. No, so this is not so bad. Then we have overflow. If we are producing too much, ammonia gets diverted over there to be consumed into something else. Then we have a small buffer, and then we have uh, low priority input. So in case we don't make enough, we are creating ammonia elsewhere. And this is a regular buffer of five units. And yeah, this is the same for all the fluids over here and so on and so on. Sulfur, we are producing a little bit of excess sulfur, so we're dumping it here. This could be converted into uh, sulfur and limestone to slag, but I still with this and don't wanna mess it up. The balance and so on and so on. Okay, uh, sour water strippers. And then we have converting everything to everything else. So heavy oil into diesel, heavy oil into naphtha. I can boost it just to save the other people. We have uh, fuel gas to hydrogen. And we have uh, oxygen, well, gas production. And I create this system that uh, is balancing itself. So we have, this is uh, oxygen priority, uh, with uh, nitrogen excess being vented, this is the other way around. This is nitrogen priority works to be vented. But since we aren't using that much nitrogen, then I shut down this whole system. Still like the design, but we don't have enough use of nitrogen to for that to be worth it. Okay, uh, we have uh, naphtha to diesel, fuel gas to diesel, diesel to naphtha. This is water with our super steam from uh, reactors into hydrogen. This is brine to chlorine. This is naphtha to fuel gas. This is hydrogen nitrogen to ammonia. That's the excess in case we we are lucky on it. Probably doesn't turn on, on all the, at all. This ammonia into nitrogen and hydrogen in case we have too much ammonia with the flare. Nitrogen is getting dumped into here. And hydrogen's going this way. Uh, this is exhaust scrubbing. We're barely using the fifth one, but just clean that we need it. Okay, and that's the first part of all related products. Now, second part. We have carbon dioxide getting turned to graphene with two pipes coming in because we're supposed to so much CO2 which feeds into our actual graphing production. Yes, okay. And then we have sulfur and water into acid. We have rubber production. We have uh, hydrogen fluoride. 
we have fertilizer ones and twos. That's what our farms are running on. This is anesthetic. This is morphine. This is antibiotics, ethanol, plastic, disinfectant, salt, and the waste from our settlement coming in here to be burned, which creates the high steam rate. Steam yeah, steam high, and it is priority consumed by our diesel distilleries. Okay, so that's our second production line. This is a settlement. It used to be three sets of uh, eight settlements, but we managed to cut down four of them. The this one barely has any people, but we just quick by to need them. And yeah, uh, consumer what's laptops dishwashers, rocking chairs, and medical. For some reason, if you put medical in two places, you get double the unity. Hospitals, 2.88. So, I left because it's funny. You don't really need that unity to have access. Yeah, uh, water in, water out, again, boosted to save people. All the foods coming in, this is the biomass coming out. Uh, sludge from, uh, water treatment plants and so on gets mixed in and it's cooled together. We have our two captains, we have the backer edition, and yeah, uh, farms. I think I've seen this uh, trick on JD's channel about uh, filling up all the farms so you don't produce too much of one thing at a time. Really useful for balancing. This is, these are the farms that can back up. So we have canola, flowers, sugarcane, and tree saplings would normally be there, but we're not using tree saplings, so we don't have any vehicles here. So turn those both the flowers. Uh, for some reason, these four things cannot be processed into garbage. So they can back up, therefore they have to have separate system. Normally it looks like this, four different belts, all going from the farms and so so and they can they are allowed to back up but yeah and um, okay all the food uh, comes in here on uh, just two belts gets sorted everything's in their own place and excess goes over here which mixes with starch and biomass so now we have soybeans coming in here corn and so, so on and this goes into our rock reprocessing which gets so first we have things getting turned to animal feed then things get turned to compost that can't be can't be turned into animal feed then we have animal feed and biomass uh, excess turned into compost so, we have so much animal feed then everything all the compost and what is combined into fertilizer organic which we are dumping into the water because when we were putting in here, then we ran at about 120%, which is a little bit of a waste. Means we'd have to run more farms, which means we'd have to buy more people and so on and so on. And I want to cut down as much of it as possible. I could maybe run these two farms on the organic fertilizer because uh, they aren't consuming as much stuff, but whatever, it's simple this way. Actually, we have a little filler because we're not using enough fuel gas here. So that's uh, another uh, part of air pollution that we might cut down on, but we have so much health that it doesn't really matter. Nobody gets sick here ever. Farms. Farms produce their, uh, have their own water. They're coming from the super steam, which means it's nuclear powered farms. Just easier to do this than the other stuff. Here is our captain's office with two solar panels. It looks nice because it's working. And let's look at our edicts. Uh, food saver as regular. All industrial edicts, that means we get by with less. We don't need anything for vehicles, uh, fuel saver or overloading because we don't have any vehicles. And we don't need anything for solar panels because we also don't have solar panels. Well, we have to. So, yeah. Then, food. Uh, food get processed over here. I built this first uh, from our final build. This was still what we had tracks, so I have a few ramps. And things uh, come into 
through here. Then there's one buffer, second buffer, and actual consumption. We have flour, again, saving a couple people here and there. We have our breads, tofu, uh, chicken farm. I used to run three, but since we cut down on people, then we don't need the third farm, so saving some people there. Then we have uh, chicken to be turned into meat with some meat trimmings, and when the meat backs up, we're turning chickens into trimmings. Just so we have everything we need to make our sausages. Uh, canola and soybean to cooking oil with priority going to canola. We have uh, some snacks, we have sugar, we have cake, then there's a little bit of corn mash, and finally food packs. Food packs that we are not consuming, so everything's turned off there. Okay, what else is there to talk about? Okay, sorry, uh, the video recording crashed. So, uh, what else is there? Well, there's this part, which means we have gold scrap pressed, recyclable pressed, copper pressed, and a lot of pressed iron. How much exactly? Well, let's see. Pressed. We have almost half a million copper scrap pressed, almost 100,000 gold scrap pressed, 2.3 million iron scrap pressed, over half a million of recyclable pressed, and no waste pressed. Pretty much because I dug up this whole island and it had a lot of resources, and I had to zip it all up into this thing, which is why I up with so many resources. And I didn't have enough uh, throughput to process them all, so I just left them there so I could get on with my full sustainability. Now, yellow cake. Why is there so much yellow cake? Well, I went to the map, and other than Infinite resources, I dug up all the uranium, I dug up all the quartz, I dug up all the limestone and the coal and everything, and I processed it. I had to eventually toss some of this stuff out, but yeah, this is. Most of this is just from the map, a little bit, maybe excess, whatever, but yeah. Nuclear power doesn't use that many resources. Turns out. You have way excess uranium on the map. I even turned it a little bit into energy uranium 20, but that's just producing the uranium, which is the same for making blanket fuel, so none of that matters. I was also making some solar panels as a stopgap, but now we don't need them and we can't uh, get rid of them, so they're just here. When we demolished the map, we also had a lot of spare construction parts, also not needed. And when we recycle all the vehicles, we ended up with a good deal of spare vehicle parts 3, which also are sitting here doing nothing. Just so I can finish up with my fully sustainability run. Okay, I think that was everything. So. Have you guys figured out what this map was? Well, it was Insula Mortis. You saw it here with this one water, here one, two, three water, big water on the top around the skull, and then this little rock behind it. So yeah. It is whole island is nicely leveled. A level two, everything's level one. There's a nice angle trim all around it, and so on and so on. This took me solid two months and a bit of work to get it done. If you want to try this, my advice to you is don't. You'll be waiting a lot of time to process uh, your holes, dig up your resources, fill them up with rock, slag, waste and everything else you can cover up with dirt, and so on and so on. It's going to be just weeks upon weeks of dull running this uh, game, waiting for things to finish, and so on and so on. It wasn't all that fun. Afterwards, though, it was nice blending things together like this, making like Factorio style almost. 
base and so on, so on but that was a lot of work when it was needed. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and yeah, I've been Tipi, and I'm signing off.